I'm an architect, freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who could do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> when I woke up, This blood stain does not look like it's a result of a banal injury. It seems fresh. The blood hasn't completely dried out yet. We better look some more. This looks like something was being dragged across the blood stain. phone is smashed. No way it's going to work anytime soon. I might be able to get further through the attic. can't get further through here. There's no door handle. Why would he hit me and then lock me in here? It's dark. 
hell was that? There we go. A library card belonging to Helen Woodward. How did it get here? It's holding with the wires. It's holding with the wires. It's stuck underneath the beam. Holding with the wires. Dragging stain again. I don't like. 
like the look of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Better. She's dead. It's dust. It's similar to what I found upstairs on the floor. She was being dragged over here through the house. I don't want to look at her face. I gotta get out of here and call for help. address of this house. Was she invited here too? Finally, out of the house. dark rooms. Why is everything always Why is everything always locked? here what's this
13, July 2000. Broken. This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. This is the way out. Honey, if the circuit trips again, first turn on the RCD switch, the smallest one, and then the rest of them, the orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click. The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag.
business. Get away from me. This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? I don't know why you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. 